I think I have an ethical dilemma here. When y'all make these cookies, don't blame me for y'all's dental bill being too high. Because you know your dentist is going to have a field day on y'all's teeth that y'all had these cookies. Don't blame me. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not the one, the two, or the three. What's up, everybody? We alive. Yet another day above soil. So about a year or a year and a half ago, there was somebody out there who suggested me to start making cookies. And when I just acquired 400 subscribers, I asked for suggestions. Although I didn't get any suggestions in the comments yet, I was talking to somebody on one of my bowling teams. So outside of this channel, I also bowl. I'm on two leagues. I bowl at Bolero Normandy and AMF Woodlawn. My team at Bolero Normandy, which is right out on right out in Ellicott City, Maryland, three of my bowling teammates came from New Jersey. And they told me, Drew, why don't you make some black and whites? And I'm like, black and whites? Yeah, half moon cookies. And I'm like, oh, black and whites. Okay. So this goes out to y'all. This goes out to people from New Jersey, New York. It's a very popular cookie in that New Jersey, New York, Jersey Shore, metropolitan area. Um, so if y'all want to cook along with me, go ahead, get them ingredients, get your spatula, because we is about to burn. All right, y'all. It's time to run by the ingredients for what we're going to use for our half moon black and white cookies. Now, before we begin, I must remind you to wash your hands. The food that we make within this kitchen is blessed. Therefore, you're going to need to wash them hands. Here's the ingredients that y'all going to need. You're going to need all-purpose flour, white sugar, confectioner's sugar for the glace. You're going to need whole milk, not 1%, not 2%, no skim, whole milk. You'll need six tablespoons of butter. You're going to need one egg, baking powder, both vanilla and lemon extract. And you're also going to need some salt. I have the salt somewhere in that cabinet. Oh yeah, did I also mention you're going to need some cacao, some coca. That's going to be for the black part of the black and white cookies. Yeah, but these are the ingredients that y'all are going to make with these black and white cookies. Let's get started. I think the first place where I'm going to start is to make buttermilk. So I'm going to make the buttermilk a little bit differently for the black and white cookies. And black and white cookies, they're going to be very similar to a cake, but they call them cookies. So you're going to need, for the cookies, a third cup of milk. To that third cup of milk, we're going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And once again, we're using your vanilla extract. Not imitation because that's not real vanilla. We're also going to use a quarter teaspoon of lemon extract. We're going to put that right in the milk. And then in a few minutes, that's going to curl. If it looks kind of funky, you're doing it right. 
I'm going to slosh this around a little bit. I'm going to start that curdling process. Let that sit. We're going to line our cookie sheets with a fine piece of parchment paper. You probably might need two cookie sheets, depending on the size of your half moon cookies. All right. Preparing the flour. You're going to need one and a quarter cup all purpose flour. And y'all see me sifting it? Yeah. I'm sifting it now, so these cookies are going to be super soft. And then to that, we're going to need some salt. You're going to need two tablespoons. I mean, not two tablespoons. You're going to need a half teaspoon of some salt. And then you're going to need some baking powder. Half teaspoon of baking powder. And what we're going to do is we're going to whisk this together so it's nice and incorporated. Similar to how we would usually make our pound cakes. All right, time to get our mixing bowl put together. You're going to need your bowl. Like usual, you're going to need your paddle adjustment. Put that on there. And your, as for your butter, your butter needs to be room temperature. Room temperature. Very similar to how we make the pound cake. I'm going to plop that in. And to the butter, we're also going to use some white sugar. Let me open this up. I'm going to use granulated white sugar, a half cup. Okay. And we're going to make sure that, once again, the butter and sugar mixture is nice and fluffy. Up. Start it low. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Don't y'all forget to scrape the sides. Right, scrape the sides. So that way everything is well incorporated. that stuff out sides. now that the butter and sugar are nice and fluffy and incorporated we're gonna add our one egg mix it again and make sure that your egg busts now that the egg is busted you're going to add a little bit of flour and just a touch of your milk mixture. We're going to mix it in. All right, let's check the batter consistency. Yep. Mm-hmm. Batter should look a little bit like that. I'm gonna scrape the sides, mix it again, and it should be ready. All I gotta say is that this batter looks a lot like cake. If it looks like cake, don't be discouraged. The consistency of these cookies should be like a cake. In Maryland, we have something called burger cookies. Um, they look nothing like burgers, it's just the people who first made them. Their last name was Burger, B-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E they were German. And the wafer, kind of cakey consistency of these half moon cookies is very similar to the burger cookies that you'd find in Maryland. One of the people who suggested me to make this cookie 
All three of them came from New Jersey. I actually had a roommate who came from New Jersey Shore. Every time he'd come back to college, he eats his mother. He made, and then she made, a fresh batch of black and whites. And this is very similar to the recipe that they would use in New Jersey or New York. If there's anybody from the New Jersey, New York area who wants to give me some constructive feedback or give me a thumbs up, please do so within the comments. So anyway, I have a three tablespoon scooper. We're going to scoop it right onto our piece of parchment paper like this. Just lock it on. This made 10 cookies. With your oven at 375 degrees, you put these in here for 15, 16, 17 minutes until it's a light golden brown. All right, y'all, it's time to take our black and whites out the oven. <laughs> I swear to God. You see how these cookies have a dome kind of thing going on? That's how it should look. Don't put the icing on the dome of the cookie. You're going to need to put it on the flat part. But we're going to let these chill for about 15 minutes, 15-20 minutes, so that the ice don't get too hot and melt. So while I'm waiting for these cookies to cool off, I'm going to start my glaze. And it's not glaze, it's glaze. So for the glaze, you're going to need one and a half cups of confectionery sugar. Confectionery sugar. Next part. Three tablespoons of milk into the confection sugar. Spoons of milk. And mix that together. There's no whisk. We're going to do vanilla and chocolate. Vanilla and chocolate. Put just a drop of vanilla in the vanilla egg, in the vanilla glass egg. Just a little more. Yeah. That's about a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna mix that in. Now stir, stir, stir. And then we're going to use some Ghirardelli cocoa powder. This is unsweet cocoa powder. And we're going to put this in the chocolate. A quarter teaspoon, a quarter, a quarter cup of it to be exact. And then to the chocolate, we'll add one more tablespoon of milk. One more tablespoon. stir that in. Mm -hmm. Alright, we've got our vanilla. Got vanilla right here. And then we've got chocolate. Alright, 
Glaze is already, cookies are cold or warm-ish. We've got vanilla, we've got chocolate. For your half moon cookies, you want to put the glaze on the flat side. So, here we go. And put one half vanilla on a cookie. You know, I was, I'm not going to lie. There were some recipes that I was looking off of and I just wanted to fine tune and tweak some of them. I noticed that there were some recipes for half moon cookies that called for high fructose, 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 corn syrup, whatever it is, it ain't healthy. So the vanilla side of the cookies, they cooled off. So now I'm going to lace it with the chocolate. Some people also use Dutch processed chocolate and they cloak the cookies one half of them with the Dutch processed chocolate. And there you have it. We've got black and whites, half moon cookies. I didn't need no high fructose, sucrose, dextrose, any factory corn syrup to make it. Look at the gloss on that. Can you believe that? And that chocolate looks Dork. Look at that. And by the way, if there's anybody who has any feedback, put it down in the comments below. These are half moon cookies, y'all. So once again, before we part ways and leave, I have a relatively important question to ask of you. If you went to sleep tonight and you ain't wake up the next day, would you truly be satisfied with the life that you live? If your answer is no, then it's most definitely time to do some soul searching and think about some of the changes that you need to make with your life. I say this because there's a lot of things within our society that discriminate. Death, however, still doesn't discriminate. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for tuning in, watching my content. If this is your first, second, third, whatever time, fourth, fifth, sixth time watching my videos, Y'all best hit that subscribe button. It's right down below. I'm also going to include the link to my Instagram. Stickerism's Instagram. Nowhere Collective's Instagram. Nowhere Collective's website. Stickerism's website. And the ingredients for these delectable black and whites. All of that's going to be in the description. Y'all, we're so close. We're really, really, really close. We are on the road to five. 100 subscribers. Looking at my statistics, 90% of the people who watch this video are not subscribed. Don't be a part of that statistic. Instead, become a member of the LDX family. Hit that subscribe button. You all with much love, good spirits, and vibes. Until next time, I see y'all later. I'm out.